come out today to go to the Chiang Mai Flower Festival. This is actually an LED tunnel, but obviously we're here in the day, so you can't see the lights, which is a shame. Into the frog. Marvel superheroes have made an appearance. But seriously though, what is Iron Man doing here? And what does Superman have to do with flowers? Such as taking a liking to the captain. At least he looks the part, like he's with a red tree, so he kind of blends in nicely. He's quite <laughs> nicely colour coordinated there. The whole is just angry. Log smash! The prize winning logs. Quite a nice selection of logs. Sasha's found the river. We haven't actually been down to this bank of the Cock River before, so it's actually quite a pleasant place to go for a jog or a run. Although I would do that here, you know what I'm like with running. Miniature big trees. <laughs> I'm going to call them puff trees. <laughs> if your mum was here, we'd never get her out. Yeah, I know. My mum would love it. Begonia big. Begonias. <laughs> Thanks for the translation, Seth. Orchids are one of Sasha's favourite flowers. She's not really a flower person, but orchids are one of her favourites. If my mum was here, she'd be going crazy too, because she loves orchids as well. I think they're pretty good too. <laughs> Big bug. Looks like a lover's tunnel. A pair of clogs and a windmill. This must be Holland. That's a rather beautiful scene. Sasha disappeared for a moment. Here she's Some found <laughs> some kind of coffee place. Some people might think this coffee addiction is getting a bit out of hand. Sasha went for espresso, full power today. Some monks enjoying the flower festival. Fresh mudafus for my father. That's what he calls them. Mudafus Swahili for a coconut. Just bought a bag of fresh coffee beans to grind up 200 baht. Where's your face? Such as by the flamingos. Homemade dream catcher. happening here. So the flower festival was a hit. We've just stopped in there having some lunch now. Thinking of going back to the area where the flower festival is when it's not on so we can see what's there usually. I think Eden will be allowed in there. We'll be taking her I think. So a smoothie has arrived. Banana and coconut. A good example. Nice. What'd you get, Jay? A breakfast burrito with some salsa. It's nice. I went for the roasted vegetable wrap. It's nice. I have it every time we come here. Just finished giving Eden a little hair trim, fur trim rather. Look at all this fur. There's a lot of fur, Eden. You've still got tons on you. That's just for my paws. It looks like your hair, Jay. Yeah, we've got the same hair. I can make you a wig. Don't need one yet, do I? <laughs> Not yet. Did you have a fur trim? Did you like it? Well, that's a very nice pose, Eden. Eden modelling her new trimmed paws. I like that. That's nice. We just went for a little drive to see if we could find a new cafe. We found this little resort place, so we're trying it out. Got myself a mocha. Sasha's waiting for her cap. Oh, Chino. It's quite a nice location. Free Wi Fi, as you would expect. While I'm having real fun on the swings, Sasha is glued to her phone. Smartphoning. Could have been having real fun out on the swings with me. Yeah, you didn't see me. Just gonna grind up the beans that we got from the park yesterday. This clutch just spilled beans all over the place. Ah! 
Upsis! Not bad. Okay. You remember a few months ago we were trying to sort out all that motorbike business. Believe it or not, that's still going on. It's been like almost two months and we're still trying to get all the paperwork sorted. So I'm off to do that. It's about an hour's ride each way. Sort it out, get it finished. So Jay's just gone off to sort the last of the bike stuff out. So this is me for the next few hours. I'll get some work done. Got my coffee. That's all good. And Aiden's here to keep me company. So the sun has almost set and I am back home. Finally got all that business sorted out. New registration comes with a ridiculously oversized number plate. It's finally mine. I finally got it registered. Another beautiful evening. Thought I'd do a little spin around so you could see a bit more clearly the surroundings new to our home. Sasha was feeling a bit stressed out so we came for a, a walk in the farms. It always seems to calm us down, make us remember why we're here. She just took Eden and walked ahead so I've just come out to try and see if I can find her. Did the farm de-stress you? No. <laughs> yes. You're not stressed, are you? You look happy. I have been feeling a bit stressed today. We're at that stage where we're thinking of the next step and the next plans for this year and we don't really know what that's going to be yet. And We made some big changes and big choices and decisions to come here and we're possibly about to do all that again and I just needed to clear my head <laughs> and chill out a bit. When I start thinking about things and I think about too much at once and it's just quite... <sighs> but um, coming out here helps, clears my head. The walk helped. Caught the last bit of sun before it sets. Jay had taken Eden back because she was thirsty so he took her home to get some water. She was waiting at the top steps for me just now and she just saw me and she's come running over. She's come out to greet me. Hello. <laughs> Our friend Gillian bought me this harmonica for Christmas so I'm going to give it a go and see how it sounds. Never played a harmonica in my life. Thanks Jill. Which way does it go? <laughs> So my harmonica skills need a bit of work, but I'll get better, I'm sure. If you liked this episode, please give us a thumbs up and let us know what you think. And also you can ask us questions in the comment section, we read them all. So it's a good way to keep in touch with us and tell us what you'd like to see next. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.